Greetings, I am Cross Knight, and this is Atom Zombie Smasher. <laughs> this is actually my second attempt to play this game, because I already did an entire attempt where I played through the entire game, but I lost, which is interesting, because you can actually, like, beat the game and lose. I don't know many other games that are like that. Unfortunately, it's kind of lame, because whether you win or lose, the ending is exactly the same. So I almost posted that one instead, I mean, because, you know, whatever. But I'm going to try again. I was kind of, it, it was a tired late night insomnia thing. I'm going to try again while I'm well rested. Um, you'll notice that the intro might not make a whole lot of sense or seems like it has anything to do with zombies. And that's because it uh, has nothing to do with zombies. So that's a little bit weird. Um, I'll try to explain as I go. For right now, I have one choice to go into this zombie-infested area. I have one recourse. A rescue helicopter. Now, the graphics are very simple, but this is... A, it's a simple concept, simple graphics, but it's a really fun game. Each one of these yellow dots is a citizen. This is my helicopter that I can use to rescue citizens. I'm gonna put it right there. These are zombie spawn points, as you will see. So now that I've set up my, uh... one vehicle... I can go here. When the helicopter gets close, it sends off a bullhorn. It causes all citizens to be attracted to the point where you land it. When citizens get to the helicopter, I can save the citizens. In this stage, I need to rescue ten citizens to move on. Now, whenever a purple zombie touches one of the uh, yellow citizen things, it turns them into zombies. So, for this stage, you mainly want to just try to lure these guys away from the horde as much as possible. And that's not good. Ugh, oh, whatever. I'm gonna move this a little bit. No. Move it farther. There's a zombie coming. Oh, he's coming. He's coming, Ron! Come on, Bullhorn! Oh, jeez. This is a disaster. This is an unmitigated disaster. Well, there's also a timer at the top that I'm sure you saw. The timer, um, is for daytime. Once it runs out, it turns into nighttime. Then zombies start coming out of the damn woodwork. Um, yeah. That was terrible. I only got 13 people rescued. But you can actually retry as much as you want if you're not satisfied. At any point, you can retry. There's no penalty for it. And you can try to get a better score. I'm going to, um... I'm not... Ugh. See, nor, like, the first time I played this, the time that I lost... I, like, did not retry at all. If I failed, I just decided too bad I failed. But I think I need to be a little bit stricter. Um, unfortunately, I don't always like it when games do this, but there's a large factor of luck in this game. Now, I'm sure that eventually you can get your knowledge and skill high enough that luck won't really affect you much. But I'm not quite there yet. I've only beaten the game, like, once. Or, no, I've beaten it twice, haven't I? Three times? I don't know. I thought I was ready, but my performance uh, off-screen showed me that I wasn't. You know, I did much better this time, because I placed it in a more intelligent place. Um, the place where I put it before was a mindset that would work if I um, had weapons to fight the zombies. But on this first practice stage, you do not have weapons to fight the zombies. So I should have put it in the area where the most citizens could have gotten to it, instead of trying to lure people away so that more zombies were created. So I've already saved, like, double the amount of people. And it looks like it's going to be triple the amount of people. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm happy with this playthrough. I will keep it. The helicopters have a load of 30 people. Once it gets to 30 people, it flies away. The helicopter also flies away after a certain amount of time, so you don't always get to 30, which is what happened to me the first time. The stage ends when all zombies are killed, all citizens or all citizens are rescued or killed. So that was pretty good. I can accept that. Um, you notice I got points and zombies got points, and it goes on the victory track. Whoever gets to the end of here first, wins. Last time, when I played this, the zombies won. So I'm gonna try to avoid that this time. We'll see how successful I am. Mercenaries awarded. I got snipers. Now I don't just have to run away. I can fight back. And I control this territory. You start out with a territory. Every single round, all the territories that you control, you get victory points for. Same with the zombies. There's also a random status each day. Longer day is a very good status because it helps you wipe out zombies. So let's go here. 
Now, normally you have a minute to complete the stage. This time I'll have a minute and 30 seconds to complete the stage. Very good. I'm going to put you there. Set up my sniper. And point the sniper... here. And let's see how that works. Now the sniper will one-hit kill zombies that are in its path. As you can see. Now, if I kill all of the zombies before, um, before it turns into nighttime, then I will automatically win the stage, and all citizens that are on the map will automatically be rescued. Easier said than done in certain cases, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna move the, the uh, citizens off a little bit to try to move all these guys away once the bullhorn sounds. And, uh, I'm getting nervous about those zombies up there. But I'm gonna stay the course for now. Capturing territory early on is very important, and you'll see, I mean, especially if I do badly, you'll see why. Alright, repositioning my sniper. I'm gonna try to, hopefully, to take out these zombies so that, uh, they don't, like, murder these people. Unfortunately, you can't control which, um, zombie they snipe in the field. Yeah, they're, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna murder all those people. Moving my helic. Oh, never mind. Moving my helicopter up here! <laughs> oh, well, this was unfortunate, wasn't it? Doesn't look like I'm gonna capture this part. I'm gonna let this one go, but in the future, I'm gonna be retrying stages, like, constantly. Because if I don't, then I'm gonna lose again. And we can't have that. This time, I must be victorious. Your mercenaries also get experience. The snipers get experience for each zombie that you kill, so... Hopefully he'll stay alive a bit longer and I can snipe a few more zombies. Uh, dead. And how we do here. Alright, my helicopter is leveled up. Now I can make it come and rescue citizens faster. Excellent. Moving on. Now they get victory points for every single person that they infect. So it behooves you to not let them infect anyone. What did I get? Zombie bait. Now also, another huge factor, unfortunately... Uh, this is the luck factor. Um, it's random which mercenaries you get first. Um, wow, that's lucky. I got two longer days. Alright, this time I'm gonna wipe out all the zombies, dammit. I don't care what happens. You'll see. Alright, so there's three paths that I need to unclear. Let's try... I mean, that's probably gonna sacrifice a lot of people, but whatever. Sacrifices must be made in the great state... No. Don't go there. Go up here. Yes. Cover these two lanes, perhaps? And then maybe I can use the newly acquired zombie bait to slow this down a little bit. That might work. It also might not work. I don't know. We shall see. But anything in this range, any zombies in this range, will be attracted to this point. Now, say I moved it over more here, these zombies would not be moving over here, they'd be moving up and then over here, so it actually, like, wouldn't stop them at all. But these zombies have all been delayed, and in the meantime, I can snipe them over here, so that's very good. And I saved that many citizens. Let's move it up here. Oh, God. This needs to stop. That needs to stop. I mean, yeah, there's only, like, three zombies there, but they can... Come on, get it, get it, yes! Then that one, excellent. Taking care of stray zombies is important. Because one stray zombie can make, like, 30 other zombies if they run into a pack. Zombie bait! Got them all. Nothing's worse than attracting them, and then there's one that gets over here, and then it, like, infects all of those. Like, you don't want that crap to happen. You gotta be mindful. Now, I have 40 seconds. The longer day thing gave me an extra 30 seconds, so I might be able to kill these zombies. But it's looking pretty... I don't know. It's looking iffy. Because eventually one of them's gonna get past and, like, just start infecting citizens. I know it. Okay, move over. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. And again. And again. And again. Alright, got that pack. Get that stray one. Excellent. Repositioning. Actually, come back here, zombies. 
Don't go up there. There's no crunchy citizens up there. Can I kill all of these zombies in 10 seconds? I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not since I'm not positioned correctly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Definitely not going to make it before nighttime. Well, I tried. Again, a large part of this is luck. I don't think I could do any better than I'm doing right now. But that's not true. I bet I could have. I bet I could have completed this stage, but it's a bit late now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe I could at least. Um... Oh, now the sniper gains experience for killing zombies. The zombie bait gains experience just for attracting them. So if you wait till nighttime and use the zombie bait on just anything random, you can get a lot of experience for your zombie bait. In addition, waiting for nighttime lets you level up your mercenaries more because there's more zombies to kill. But you also don't capture the territory. So I'm. Uh, <laughs> also, if you if a helicopter lands and there's a zombie, it will immediately take off. But okay, this wasn't so bad. I should get a lot of experience. Yeah, snipers leveled up already. Not bad. But we'll see. I mean, if I don't if I don't get too far in my victory track, I'm not keeping this attempt either. I'm only going to have a successful attempt, damn it. I will save the world from the zombie apocalypse. What did I get? Dynamite. Oh, bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. Really could have used infantry or artillery. It's all luck of the draw, though. And as soon as the zombies get up here, I'm going to have a much harder time taking over territory, so I'm just going to see what's happening. Increased helicopter speed. Cool. My helicopters will be able to rescue people more. Now, you can unlock these vignettes that will have these little story things that, again, just like the story at the beginning, I don't understand what's going on. I mean, there's a clear, like, war theme. There's a clear theme of people doing something and it always going horribly wrong. But I don't, I don't know what's going on in the story. I really don't. I'd be lying if I said I did. Right, once again, um, hmm. All right, we're gonna cover this path more, and I'll have the dynamite try to take care of these. A dynamite, you have to set all of the charges in the beginning part. Let's go here. And they all get set off at the same time. You can't, like, stagger them so that they're, you know, partly set off at one point and then some set off later. You have to set them off all at once. But you get to choose when. And we'll put this here to try to lure those guys away as fast as possible so they don't turn into zombies, increasing the horde. Cool. Alright. Um, so first... I'm gonna use bait. And now! I killed all those starting zombies, that's good. But yeah, now dynamite is done. I can't use dynamite anymore in the stage, I blew it up. I done blew it up! But, alright, if I can just stop this horde on the side here. Or should I? Mm. Well, I took care of one of the spawn points. Now the problem is these three zombies over here. I think I better switch. This is going to cost me time. But I really want to stop them from affecting people. I got one. Well, I got two. Alright, that was the right choice. Because now they're done for. Don't want those zombies getting any more uh, victory track points than they need to. Looks like we got this. I should capture this territory. Also, even if you don't need to, use your mercenaries as much as possible so they can level up. There we go, victory! All remaining people have been saved. You notice I just got all those people saved. Um, even if the helicopter doesn't pick them up, even if you just save them by um, completing the stage perfectly, you still get helicopter experience, so don't worry about that. Select next unit. And zombie bait is leveled up. I always like to level up range first, because then they can attract more zombies and level up even faster. And plus, leveling up range is really useful. They only killed one person, that's kind of awesome. Though I swear killing that one person made two zombies, so... Maybe it made two half-zombies? Barricades! Wow! Abs uh, horrible luck. Absolutely horrible luck. The only way this could have been more horrible... ...as if I got... ...artillery instead of sniper first. That's the only way it could have been worse, but... Huh, alright. Because <laughs> sniper is a very good unit. And they just got 30 points. I got 40 points because I got a, uh, another thing. 
Alright, shorter daytime, less zeds. This can work either way. Um, oh yeah, there's Zedopedia that tell you different things. That you unlock more and more of when you go on. I don't know if I'm going to end up showing most of those, but... When you have more than three mercenaries, then one of them gets excluded until you get really far in the victory track and you can carry four mercenaries. So I will not be having dynamite. Instead, I'll have barricades, zombie bait, and snipers. Not the best combination, I must say. Because only one of us does damage. It's good to have at least two people that do damage if you're trying to wipe out entire zombie areas. Ooh, however... There's only two spawn points. That's a huge boon. However, however, I only have 30, sec 30 seconds to complete this. Um, barricades can be great. I, I will say that. But... Uh, let's, yeah, let's do that. You can't actually block off zombie fruit. Like, I couldn't put it here. Because then the zombies wouldn't be able to come at all. And that, that would be, like, too... That would make things too powerful. But you can make it so that it'll take them a very long time to do anything useful, which is what I've done. I'll put the helicopter here to try to attract as many people over here to run away from the zombies so they don't get infected. Uh, sniper's pretty obvious. Um, I could cover, try to cover both. No, I can't. Well, I can. Let's do that. And then I have my zombie bait to delay people even further, so let's do this. Let's see if I get lucky. Yep, there should be a lot less zeds. Yeah, snipe these people up here first, please. That would be awesome. I might have this. I think I have this one. You guys stay down. Stay down! Excellent, they listen. Perfect. The fact that there's only two spawn points really helped me out there. Not bad. Now, I didn't get a whole lot of experience from my mercenaries, but I did get a decent amount of victory track points while keeping their victory track down, and I captured a territory, so worth it. Barricades get experience, I believe, uh, depending on how much experience the rest of your mercenaries get, which is a weird way to do it. I guess there's no other way that they can determine if the barricades were useful. And landmines. I get, th this couldn't have been, this couldn't have been worse. Wow, all right. Ah, oh, just give me infantry, man. Infantry's amazing. Ooh, I've almost got my first reward. I get rewards, too. The zombies get rewards. This reward actually kind of helps me in certain respects. This one is rough. This one's really rough, but that's inevitable. But, um... I think one more mission and I'll have... No, two more missions and I'll have all the mercenaries and I'll call it. Slower Z movement. That helps me. Let's go here? Let's go here. It's good try to, to not have uh, Zed territories next to each other if you can help it. It's good to, like, spread them out. Because, uh, well, you'll see why. Not this episode, but eventually you'll see why. I'm gonna snipe here. Let's set up my dynamite. Um, here. 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 And here. Landmines are like dynamite, but they have a bigger blast radius. And you do not set them off. They are set off by zombies. Let's put one here. And here too. This isn't so bad, actually, because these do do damage to zombies. I might be able to do so much damage to them so fast that I'll be able to perfectly complete the stage, but I don't know for sure. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? The only thing is uh, having high concentrations of dynamite and landmines can blow up buildings, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. And there goes one landmine. That's right, I have slower Z movement too, that actually helps me. I probably... Uh oh I screwed it up. I let two zombies pass the dynamite. Wait, but th there's a landmine there! <laughs> a bye. <laughs> Notice the landmine killed citizens, but... There's not much of a penalty for killing citizens. You just want to make sure the citizens don't turn into zombies. The only penalty is that you'll have less people to rescue. Which isn't so bad. I'm a pragm I'm a I'm a pragmatist. Don't hate me. Um 4.8. Or I could have people load in faster. I still want it to just come faster, I think. 
I mean, the other upgrade's good, but... Ah, scientists have been unlocked. Very cool. And the territory is captured. That's the important thing. Alright, artillery. So artillery's a great... Um, well, later on it's great. Right now it's not going to be too good, but when it levels up, it's amazingly powerful. So you notice they just got so many, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They just got 70 victory points. And there's not that much I can do about that right now. Shorter daytime. That's bad. Um, shorter daytime when it doesn't say shorter daytime less zeds. That means it's going to be very hard for me to clear things out. But I'm going to try. Also, does anyone get what's going on with the story? I don't know what's happening. It's weird. Alright, uh, uh, okay. So far there hasn't been any level 2 territory. If one of these lands on a territory that's already been captured, it'll turn to level 2 or 3, and finally 4. 4s are the ones you have to watch out for. Um, I'm screwed on this level though, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be able to, um, complete. I'm not gonna be able to wipe it out with the mercenaries that they give me. Cause I don't have snipers, I just have artillery barricades and zombie bait. Only one of those does damage, and... It's not going to do enough damage. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. So that's really unfortunate. If they gave me landmines or dynamite, I'd probably be golden, but they didn't. So can I corral them any place? I can corral them here and here. Uh, artillery. And we'll put the rescue chopper here to try to get that scientist. Scientists let you upgrade things. They're very important. So zombie bit. Ooh, there's a there's an open thing here, so I can actually attract all of them. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, so artillery. You will see what artillery does shortly. Shortly. Very shortly. There. Sh oh. Okay, that wasn't an open thing. They can get out over there. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. I'm just not going to be able to kill them fast enough in all likelihood. Yeah, especially because I only have 30 seconds left. <laughs> Or 10 seconds left. I started with 30 seconds. But yeah, if I had the sniper or something, I could do it. Oh, that was a good shot, too. And it's still not going to matter. That's a damn shame. If I had normal time, I could have done it, but not in 30 seconds. So, as a last recourse... I'm just going to try to attract as many zombies as possible. Where should I attract them? Probably here. Yeah, because they're going to reach that place first. I'll wait, though. Attracted, and kill zombies here. I'm still- I'm rescuing a lot of people, though. Now, you notice I need to rescue 60 people in order to even complete the stage. And it's possible, like, if you get, like, really bad mercenaries, uh, because, again, it's random each time, if you get a bad combination of mercenaries coupled with a bad combination of, um, of a random circumstance, who is still alive? Why isn't the stage ended? Oh, he's still alive. Fire, 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 fire! Uh, I hope that counted. <laughs> I don't know if that counted or not. I can now place three barricades. Cool. At least we're gonna get my favorite mercenary next. At least there's that. Infantry. They rule. But I think this episode has gone on for a while. I think I'm gonna have to cut it here. I'm gonna lose again, though, aren't I? You know what, if I lose again, I'm sorry. I lost, and I tried. I really tried. But, <laughs> I don't want to do this for a third time. Faster Zed, great, that's wonderful. Excellent. Stupendous. That's all I ever wanted was faster damn zombies. Artillery snipers. I have a good chance of completing this next time, though. Artillery and, or, um, snipers and infantry, having both of them, makes it pretty easy to clear things out in most circumstances. All right. I'm Cross Knights, in the next episode you'll see me use my infantry, and hopefully I'll win the game instead of my shameful defeat last time, but I don't know. See ya.